What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fantasy Football Game Show presented by Front Yard Fantasy. I was waiting for your little yell, Jail, and I didn't get it today, Woo. but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm joined, as always, by my co-hosts, Josh and John Luke. And joining us again, another member of the Front Yard fam is Eagle Dan FF. But guys, today we've got a special guest, great friend of the show. His wife was on with us not too long ago, and he's back for his triumphant return. You know him from IBT Media and the co-founder of 32 and 32. Nate Polvot is with us today. What's up, my man? What is up? How's it going, guys? So up, glad Nate? to be back. Yes, this is the second, third time. Third, my third time. Third so my, time. my third time losing. Yeah, two more visits. <laughs> we get another visit. Honestly, free. If, it's, it's, if you it's lose fine. a if you lose at brackets, that'll be pretty impressive. Actually, we you know, all lose. That, we all think, lose. Okay. Brackets. Well, if we all lose, that's <laughs> we fine. never won. I'm totally good with that. Yeah. J- so, Jail usually loses at brackets. He's not a big Every fan time. of uh, the, the outcome of all of these. I think once or twice <laughs> he's been happy with the end of it. Yeah. He drags us down with him. You know, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a win loss for all of us. We either that's win true. brackets, we all win, or we all lose. And let's well, see what today is. Today we're gonna win. Today we're gonna okay. win. Today it's okay. gonna happen. Today we're gonna let's win. Let's get me. Just leave. I'll just leave, 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 guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jail, we need you. We need you to get yeah, these we brackets. Need you, Jail. The brackets we are doing today is wide receivers under 25 and activities with NFL players. Anthony Leone thinks activities with NFL players sounds X-rated. Hey? Oh, but that's, <laughs> that sounds hot. That's, that sounds hot. That's a later show, Anthony. We're gonna do activities with NFL players um I told you on, guys a, on a different stream. Um, it's all about where you put the quotes around activities. Uh, Craig said, everybody click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. You are Nate going to want to miss this one. Uh, oh, nice good God. Lord. Lord. Blow the fire. delivery. That, that was just bad. Oh, was- man. I liked Craig, it. I- <laughs> you are Nate going to want to miss this one. Um, but guys, uh, like Craig said, if you guys have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, we're on YouTube at Front Yard Fan. Hit the subscribe button. Um, you're not Nate going to want to miss this one or the next time Nate's on and subscribe and we'll make sure that you don't. Uh, Jay was in says, Josh looks like he's thinking really hard in the thumbnail about his spelling decisions from fantasy fortune yesterday. <laughs> Average draft hey, question. Here's the thing. I, I, I didn't think, I don't think enough. That's obviously the problem. Um, <laughs> but going forward, it won't happen. Obviously I can get gu- guaranteed. Josh J Wall and I were texting yeah, yesterday, yeah. and he was like, "He was like, I love the new game, except Josh Spelling is a lot like Josh Math." Um, and then I was like, "We need the whole <laughs> the whole school of Josh." Hey, if you want me, you gotta have all of me. All right, you ain't get the whole package. <laughs> Burner, what is up? Welcome in, Burner. Glad to have you here. And Craig said, "Hello, one who burns stones." Uh, howdy, <laughs> Jay. Welcome in. Um, and Anthony oh. said, FYF gang, who should we put on the bracket thumbnail this week <laughs> behind Josh? <laughs> Simon, DK, mm-hmm. Matt. That's exactly how it went. How'd you know? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> word for word. <laughs> Jordan said, hey, that's my dad. Go ahead. Hey, buddy. I'll try my <laughs> hardest. I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> Scott said, sorry, guys. I was chatting with the boys behind the scenes, and so they'll be late today. Really, I just wanted to see if Josh treats the pre-show like the post-show. He and does. he does. <laughs> it's so funny. I did change like three. Like, I changed. Oh my god! I, I didn't even think Ember, that's hilarious. Like, you said he just strips right down, huh, Scott? Yep. It is true. The Scott or Josh's shirt stays on for like maybe five minutes no, after the he show. He starts already. naked. He starts naked, and then he, he puts on clothes right before we start during the countdown. That's Josh's dressing time. So is that why I had to? Re- is that why I had to replace someone who canceled today? Is that what's going on? Exactly. They got tired. Exactly. Just didn't want to see him. I got it. They were like, "What the hell?" What I'm is going on? <laughs> What's up, Jen? Welcome, Hi, Jen. Jen. Glad to have you here. Um, and Cooter Doodle said, "Goats." Oh, man, Cooter, glad uh, to have you here. Hot goat yoga. Is that a sheep or goat? I have no idea. <laughs> <Yo. Bye. laughs> Anthony said, "Hi, Jen. Hi, Nate." Sure. Burner said, "Hey, Jen. Man, Jen's getting more love than you, she's Nate." Dead. In the she's chat, dead. Dead. She's dead. I get it. She's better than me. I know. <laughs> Jordan said, Married "Bring up. on, Jen." Um, and Jay said, "Jail loses brackets and tears." And Kudos said, "Jail is the swing vote." Yeah, swing uh, and miss. We we just call him Georgia over here. <laughs> uh, we got Ben in the chat. Ben says, up, "Studs ben? fire." Yeah, we got a couple ben. studs on here. And Josh. Um, and Scott said, "I'm not joking. He literally changed shirts. Wait. He hates when his arms are covered." <laughs> um, and Kudos well, like followed their only covered, like. 
on stream for you guys. I, I don't want you to see this. You know, you don't have to see this, but I sweat Just a those lot. Those forearms. Exactly. Exactly. Just the forearms. That's all. Those you are see. good forearms. I know they're decent. They're, nice. they're decent they're nice. forearms. Decent. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. Higher, look at that. higher, we have to start charging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that check it out. Cooter said it earlier. Check out Josh's only streams if you want to see more of only those. streams. <laughs> if you want to see uh, more of those forearms, Ben's in here says the setup by Craig was flawless, <laughs> and Simon unknowingly finished the alley oop. I, I had no idea what I was saying as I read it. You guys got to be careful with the things in the comments because there are times where I just start reading them and I could totally Ron Burgundy this situation where I yep. just say something <laughs> I'm not supposed to. Yep, and that's <laughs> definitely happened. It has where I'm like Troy. halfway through. It happens more yeah. with um, Quiplash than the comments, but uh, no. Troy says, gang, gang, what's up, Troy? Welcome what up, in. Troy? And Cheesehead says, yo, what's good? What up, Cheesehead? Welcome in, Cheesehead. Cooter said, what's happening? Um, this is the Fantasy Football Game Show. Yeah. Uh, right Magic. now we're reading You've comments. You've been on the show. You know, you know <laughs> what this is. You know what you signed up for. <laughs> and Kev said, bird up. Um, and Scott Bruh. said, I don't know if I want to subscribe to anything called only streams. You do. It's, it's, just, it's just Josh like going to random estuaries around his house and just recording himself reviewing that them. actually <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Meditate a little bit, maybe. And this, this one's got that. mad flow. I don't know if you've ever seen Adult Swim, but, uh, you know, Rick and Morty's on there. They, they'll have, like, the little in-between, like, uh, commercial almost that says follow our streams and then just show a very relaxing stream. I like that. It's, I like it's that. kind of smart, yeah. Crawl dads for days. Yeah. Yeah. And if anyone else has a stream that they'd like to do like a crossover with, we could all cross streams as Jay <laughs> has uh, alluded to. So yes, Nate, I know I you guys do some river. streams. Yeah, we could. I call that sword fighting. Yeah, cross but streams, but we can, uh, we'll cross we can do that. Okay, no. guys, we've got, two <laughs> we've got two brackets to get through. So I say we go ahead and jump into the first one, which is wide receivers under yeah. 25. Um, this one it. is a little bit open ended. It can be that that's the topic. So it's just your favorite wide receiver under 25. Shane says Simon is back. I am back. And I'm, Thank uh, God, I'm right? never leaving again unless I do. Um, and then for quotes, <laughs> estuaries. Um, estuaries. I'm going to rearrange a little up here. Nate, you're going to go first. I'm going to throw me. Is that the right here. word? I'm really, I'm really worried now that I used the completely wrong word. <laughs> Something completely unrelated to everything. Yeah. <laughs> Burner said, wasn't it exactly a week ago that things started going downhill? That sounds about right. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right. You know. <laughs> and Jen, I like that. Like it's the, true. I show up and things go off the reels fast as well. Um, and no, Jace is 25. Totally normal. It is not just under 25. It's 25 and under. So some of these yeah, guys are enough. 25. We don't even Nate, really have you, rails around here to go off of. We just go no. off. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Start off your cliff. That's the We've time. been in limbo Man, you've for got, years. <laughs> you've got the first vote on our first matchup. It is AJ Brown okay. versus Deontay Johnson. Oh. Which of these is your favorite wide receiver, 25 or under? AJ Brown. He says. I feel like that. Smart. I feel like that goes. Well, I feel like it goes without saying. <laughs> yeah, Nate. No question asked. AJ Brown. Josh, what do you think here? Um, you know, you know, AJ Brown's my favorite dynasty wide receiver. I, I'm going to go AJ Brown here, but I, I think this is just a poor matchup for Deontay Johnson. I, I think he deserves some respect. Um, he had a lot more target. He had 144 targets last year. AJ Brown at 106. I'm looking at the numbers right here. And he had more catches last year. AJ Brown's going to have a better season than Deontay Johnson, but Deontay Johnson, I think is being slept on just a little bit. AJ Brown though. Easy. Just Too have to get my Deontay Brown. Johnson take real fast. Well, that's a fair take. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Get that out of here. John, Luke. he's my favorite Steelers wide receiver. I actually completely agree with the Josh shit. I'm I'm on that Deontay Johnson train. Josh and I are riding together into the Meadowlands. Oh, yeah. Uh, going, I am going H.K. Brown here as well. Wait, are they playing the Giants? The Meadowlands? The, yeah. No, I oh, my God. No, I this is a football thing. <laughs> We got some love for Nate in the chat. Bernus is Nate already shining like the star he is. Hashtag Team Nate. I'm Team Nate Clayton, here today. You're the man. We're Thank all Team you. Nate. Nate the Great. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Unless we're competing. We're not competing today. So Team Nate. Right, or no. you disagree with me. Don't you dare. I would never until I do. Uh, yeah, we'll Just like Simon. <laughs> right. Just like Dan, this one's already been decided, but are you voting for AJ Brown or Deontay Johnson? Uh, Deontay Johnson definitely des deserves some respect, uh, but he won't be getting it from me. So AJ Brown, <laughs> <laughs> or as Dan enough, said, he, he deserves some respect. Um, I've been coming around on Deontay Johnson. I realized I was forgiving Judy for his drops, but not forgiving Johnson for his, and that was uh, 
some weird bias in my brain. And so Deontay Johnson shot right up for me, but not near AJ Brown. It's a clean sweep. Five, zero. Josh, you've got the first vote on this one. Terry McLaurin versus Justin Jefferson. Oh, Bacon Gate. Oh, man. Um, Terry McLaurin or Justin Jefferson. All right, uh, so, like, what's the title of uh, these brackets again? It's not favorite, right? It's just, it's just favorite, just right? Favorite, yep. Yeah. Oh no! Well, there's um, a little bit of subjectivity in there. There's yeah, just purely objective. Since you guys allowed this uh, subjectivity with the title, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Terry McLaurin here. Justin Jefferson, I would draft higher in both redraft and a dynasty league. Don't get me wrong, guys. Um, I, I you know, but Terry McLaurin, I am a huge fan of. I, he, I I was just talking about yesterday. I think he's my wide receiver eleven in dynasty and 12 in redraft. So I have him as number one receiver, but Justin Jefferson's a lot higher. Uh, I'm going to vote for Terry McLaurin. He is my favorite wide receiver under 25 other than one other guy, but we'll get to that. And Jay said fantasy wide receivers, 25 and under, yeah, the I don't title, think it's his so favorite. It's, but the, but the fantasy wide receivers, 25 and under doesn't give uh, that basis to go on as a dynasty as a redraft. So we'll go with favorite. Um, and we've got some answers. Anthony said, JJ, for sure. Come on, let's move on. But Burner in here saying, I might like F1 better than JJ. That, um, that's where I am, Burner. That's where, that's where I'm at. I don't like him better in fantasy, <laughs> but I do are, like him better. Really making me question some life decisions. <laughs> Scott said, I'm still not over lumberjack hat gate. Scott, there's, a, there's hats number two coming your way at some <clears throat> point, and I guarantee Lumberjack hat will be in there. John Luke, Scary I'll tell you Terry, guys or JJ? Oh, sorry, Do Josh. not let Terry McLaurin win this one. <laughs> <laughs> People will be upset. It'll be Fitzpatrick all over again. Yes. It will be. Uh, and I was upset about that. So. so the title of this bracket is Fantasy Wide Receivers, so yeah. I, I feel like uh, that, that's pretty clear to me. It's going to be Justin Jefferson here. I am uh, very excited about Terry McLaurin. I think he'll be great this year. I think he has top five upside uh, with Brian, Brian Fitzpatrick, uh, especially. But Justin Jefferson is just a little, he has a safer floor to me and just as high as upside. Uh, so I'm going to go, how many receiving yards did he have last year? 1,400? At least yeah. 10. A little more, I think. Wow. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they'll have that again, but I think it'll be not far off that. So I'm going Justin Jefferson. One to one vote for Justin Jefferson. Burner agreeing with what you said, Josh. JJ should win for sure. Maybe I just like the value of F1. Um, and, Dan, and I like Anthony came in here and said, uh, Josh was mad about Fitz, but votes McLaurin here. Hey, I didn't really, I thought it was favorite. I thought it was favorite. It's fantasy. I voted maybe a little incorrectly, but I still, I'm standing by my vote here, Anthony. Well, standing who could have it. ever guided you wrong like that? Dan, what are you going here? <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm a really big fan of, of, of both of them. I think that uh, Justin Jefferson may be able to do better than he did last year, but I think it, it was close to his to his ceiling. And I, I think that McLaurin is going to do really well this year with a, with a better quarterback than he's had for a while. And his nickname is one of the most underrated nicknames in sports. Tara McLaurin. Yes. What, which uh, nickname are you talking McLaurin. about? Yeah. Oh, you're voting Terry McLaurin. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> I do think wow. Justin Jefferson's a regression candidate. Yeah, it, he is. He definitely is. Yeah. I, I don't see Which direction. Uh, uh regress downwards. Well, you can yeah, positively she... regress. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, we're gonna negatively regress here. But <laughs> I I man, you know what? I my plan was to throw the pity vote to Terry, or not pity vote, but like the respect vote to <laughs> yeah. Terry McLaurin. But we've got two votes over there right now. Justin Jefferson's the right answer. Um, yeah. I love Terry McLaurin. Um, I think he's unbelievably talented, and what we've seen him do with the quarterbacks that he has has been scary. Uh, like it, it's been it's been really cool to see. But oh, it's oh, Justin oh. Jefferson. Two to two. Oh, oh, oh. Nate, you are the deciding vote, and you've been making faces this whole time. I have a feeling I know where you're going. <laughs> Finish this off. So I love McLaurin's upside, especially with Fitz in that offense. And I, I just feel like that's all around going to be a better offense this year. But Justin Jefferson is the man. I love Justin Jefferson. His upside's a little bit higher for McLaurin, a lot higher than McLaurin for me. So I'm going, J I'm going JJ. Got to go JJ. Thank you Scott for doing the right thing, Nate. Yes, Scott Spishet. <laughs> if Jefferson re reasses over 20%, he'll be McLaurin from last year. Josh. Before Josh. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but I do expect McLaurin to have a better fantasy season this upcoming season. And Justin mm -hmm. Jefferson is slightly worse. I'm still dra I'm drafting Justin Jefferson ahead of Jerry McLaurin. Don't get me wrong. 
I just I would I would not bet money on another fourteen hundred yard season from Justin Jefferson. That seems like a, a fool's bet. That's not saying he won't be good, but um we could have seen one of the best seasons of his career in his rookie year with the numbers that he put up. Um I don't know. I don't know. Adam 17 Thielen's game season older. too. Seventeen yeah, yeah. game. That's true. That is true. Okay, guys, we've got Jamar Chase versus CD Lamb with the next one. And John Luke, you have the first vote here. Where are you going? And Anthony said, Nate just earned a follow. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> He's that. Happy man. with your choice. <laughs> oh, I, God, everyone should follow Nate, by the way. Go follow oh, Nate. Yeah. He deserves oh, it. Well, thank you. I appreciate yes. that. Yeah. Great follow. Great follow. I am excited for Jamar Chase this year, but he's still a rookie. I still have some tempered expectations. I'm not as high as everyone else on CD Lamb. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Megan, I'm stupid. I bad takes. I know, we get it. But, <laughs> but, however, I am more. I am more certain that CD Lamb will have a, a better season this year than I am Jamar Chase. But I'm uh, high on both of these guys. I'm going to go CD Lamb though. One vote for CD Lamb, and Joey said, "Oh my heavens, everyone's so handsome." Oh, Aww. Joey, we're just Joey. missing you on here to complete the handsome party. Dan, are you going Jamar Chase or CD Lamb? Um, I think this is close. I think people are somewhat overvaluing the the Chase Burrow um, connection. I, I mean, it is important, but I think some people may be placing too much of a value on the familiarity. Um, I think that the Cowboys obviously have a better offense than the than the Bengals do, but I, I do like Chase a little more. Uh, than than Lamb personally, so I'll go Chase. Wow, I did not see that happening with you starting out saying that people are overvaluing the Jamar Chase Joe Burrow connection. Um, that's that's interesting. You must think, really like Jamar I think, Chase. I think Chase is a is a better receiver than Lamb. Wow, personally. that's that's awesome. Wow, one vote for Chase from Dan. It is one to one, and um, I got to go Lamb here. I am in love with CD Lamb as a talent. He was my wow. favorite receiver coming out last year. And um, honestly, he's a lot closer to Justin Jefferson for me than I, I think consensus. Um, I have a hard time differentiating between the two whenever I decide who I want on my fantasy team. Um, yeah. Justin Jefferson obviously had the better year last year, but I would be hard pressed to trade CD Lamb straight up for J. Jeff and Dynasty. Um, that, that's how highly I value CD Lamb. He's up there as a top three, top five Dynasty wide receiver in my eyes. It's CD Lamb for me, um, and it's not particularly close. Nate, what about you? Where are you going here? So this one is real close for me. Um, I love Jamar Chase. I think he's an exceptional talent. But don't forget, you've also got Tyler Boyd and T. Higgins in that offense. Versus today we're hearing that Cooper, Amari Cooper, starting the season on the pup list, may start the season on the pup list. He's at least starting camp on the pup list. Yeah. So I'm going to go C.D. Lamb here. Um, I I think eventually Jamar Chase passes C.D. Lamb, but not this season. Damn. So you and Dan are on a similar page, though, with who you yeah. view as like the better receiver. Um, just yep. this year, you're still putting that faith in CD. Josh, Jamar Chase or CD yeah. Lamb? From a dynasty context, these guys are pretty darn close. I still have D- CD Lamb ranked higher. I I'm right with Simon. I love CD Lamb. He I I think he's great. And if if Amari Cooper isn't playing for the Cowboys, CD Lamb is a guaranteed top ten receiver in my mind. Guaranteed, I, I agree. as close as you can get. As, as long as Dak's there, um, absolutely. And I, I think he's just going to get on the field even more this upcoming season. I love Jamar Chase. I uh, this is a tough one, but it's definitely CD Lamb for me. Another vote for CD Lamb. CD Lamb moves on over Jamar Chase, but he did get a vote. Um, Eric says CD baby. Uh, Jason says the Cowboys fan. He says, you don't know me. And then Jay says, Joe, I love the mood you're setting with the light. and the <laughs> yeah. I love that, man. You love the Come on plans. in. Come on in, baby. Oh, oh, very, very white over here. And Anthony <laughs> says, Simon loves CD so much. Once he gets a jersey, he'll actually hang it up. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see. I know I put all my favorite wide receivers, their jerseys go on the floor behind me, Amari Cooper and DJ Moore. And, okay. and no one said the point. CD Lamb's already played an NFL season and showed he's a dominant receiver. Jamar Chase hasn't done that yet. I expect him to be a dominant receiver, but just seeing it means a lot, right? Yeah, 100%. Dan, we are on to you. 
for the next one, we've got the seven seed versus the two seed. It is Chris Godwin versus DK Metcalf. Which one of these are you voting for? I'm going to go with uh, with TK on this one. I think that uh, Chris Godwin has has Mike Evans, so it's a, like a one B to one A situation there. Uh, the Lockett, Tyler Lockett is an exceptional receiver, but it, I think that Metcalf uh, solidifies himself as the Wide receiver, wide receiver one in Seattle this year, so I'm going to go with with DK. One vote for DK. I just got one thing to say: DK <laughs> Metcalf. Anthony yes. said it as well. DK Metcalf. Yeah, my vote's going towards DK Metcalf. Dan said it well. Nate, what about you? Chris Godwin or DK Metcalf? Well, even though they just drafted Dwayne Eskridge, oh no, not him. No. I'm going to – <laughs> dude, it's, it's DK Metcalf. It's, uh, no, no. it's DK Metcalf. It has to be DK Metcalf. It has to be. Josh, it has to be DK are you going with what it – That was the joke. I know. I, know. <laughs> I, 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 I was playing along with you. I was like, oh, no. no. Wait, that's <laughs> I'm right there with you. Uh, yeah, yeah. This one is DK Metcalf. I, I'm i a Chris Godwin fan, and I think he's going to have a great season with Tom Brady. DK Metcalf really started to slow down as the year went on, but I expect there to be a little bit of Tyler Lockett regression and DK Metcalf to take a little bit more of that work. I don't think Tyler Lockett's done by any means, but DK Metcalf is the man. Another vote for DK. Scott coming in here saying, don't sleep on Eskridge. You've been warned. I will say that people that? are probably Ooh. valuing him a little too low. I, like I've seen him go on like fourth rounds of rookie drafts, like which is yeah. kind of crazy for a second round pick with a high powered offense. Yeah. yeah, I agree. John Luke, you've got the final vote here. Are you finishing it off with a sweep, or are you throwing a vote to Chris Godwin? Uh, I'm finishing off the sweep, Metcalf. Uh, I'm I'm felt like I haven't been as high on him all off season, but. In terms of between him and Chris Godwin, I mean, Metcalf was third most routes run of all wide receivers and second most air yards. I think he still has room to improve this season. Uh, and, and Chris Godwin, I, I like his talent, but I just don't – I think he's capped by uh, by the offense he's in. You know, there's a lot of competition. He's got Tom Brady. He's not going to be as uh, – he's not going to have the same ceiling he had when James Winston was throwing him the ball. <laughs> Giovanni Bernard's taking all the targets over there. Yeah. I've heard, so Chris that Godwin mustache. is just irrelevant. So distracting. <laughs> yeah, when he's when Gio's not stealing his Kinda targets, is. he's distracting him on the sidelines. Stealing his girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a rough season for Chris Godwin. <laughs> Poor uh, Chris. We've got our first semifinal matchup, though. It is AJ Brown versus Justin Jefferson, and I've got the first vote. And holy moly, this is the toughest one yet. Um, but you know what? Um, yes, it I'm is. I'm gonna go with the wide receiver that I think is more physically talented. These guys are very close situations. I like for both of them. Um, so I'm going with the better physical talent in my mind, and that's A.J. Brown. Um, but it is – this one's close. A.J. Brown gets the nod for me. Nate, where are you going here? So I love J.J., obviously. Um, love A.J. Brown, too. What separates them is, for me, is um, Julio Jones. Because I think Julio Jones is going to make A.J. Brown a better receiver because he's going to pull coverage. A.J. Brown's going to A.J. Brown's going to be open more often – this oh, Nate, I thought you were asked. going the other way whenever me you said too. Julio and I liked how you switched it. I love All how right. You switched it so yeah. for me, it's it's AJ Brown. Two zero for AJ Brown. Nate saying Julio elevates AJ. Josh, are you going AJ Brown or Justin Jefferson? Now I'm with you. I, I I don't know if it elevates him, but it does not lower him really that much in my mind. In a dynasty context, AJ Brown's my number one receiver. Simon kind of mentioned it earlier. I actually view Justin Jefferson and CD Lamb very close. Um, I, I you know I'm going AJ Brown here. I think he's just a little bit more talented, but we'll see. I know Scott's gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Anthony wanted to know both with zero votes. Who would you guys pick between Chris That's Godwin and Deontay Johnson? I'd go DJ. Just rapid fire. Nate? Godwin. It's Josh? Chris Godwin for me, and I love Deontay Johnson, so that's saying something, I think. John Luke? They're, it's super close. They're back-to-back, but it's Deontay Johnson. Dan? It's Godwin. Wow. I so am not got, the highest on Deontay Johnson, maybe. <laughs> three Godwins and two Deontay Johnsons. Jail and I in agreement for once there. <laughs> Um, but we are on to you, John Luke, with your vote on this one. Yeah. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron it's John Burgundy. Luke's vote. 
Uh, for this one, I am going to go against the green. I think it's already set in stone here, but uh, I'm going to go Justin Jefferson. I, you know, I don't. It's not super close for me. I, I think AJ Brown or AJ Brown had a great season last year, and Julio Jones definitely caps that. Uh, he's not going to be the the wide receiver one, in my opinion. Uh, he's not going to get 150 this, targets, right? No, I mean, I think he saw like, a, like just over 100 targets in 14 games this past season. Justin Jefferson was a big play monster. He had so many big plays. I think he was averaging like 15, uh, 15 yards per uh, target, 15 yards per catch, something like that, which is absurd. So I, I think he's got that big play upside. And, and even if he does regress, I think he's gonna. He still has that that wide receiver one upside. A vote for Justin Jefferson, and I, I, I agree with a lot of the words you're saying, JL. That, like, a lot of the not words. A, it's not well, a hate on Justin yeah, Jefferson. Put it all like that, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't agree with your outcome, Dan. Are you going with AJ Brown or Justin Jefferson? Well, well, like Josh, I have AJ Brown as my dynasty number one receiver, so it's AJ Woo! Brown for me. Woo! Let's go. Four to one, AJ Brown moves on, and we've got our second semifinal oh. matchup. Nate, you have the first vote here. It is CD Lamb versus DK Metcalf. Metcalf. Where are you going? Well, this one actually isn't even close to me. Um, it's DK Metcalf. Uh, he has less competition for targets, unless yeah, Cooper doesn't play. But you still have Blake Jarwin. You still got Zeke. You've got Tony Pollard, who's going to get some targets out of the backfield. I just think Metcalf, Metcalf will have a better season. I'm, yeah. Nate clearly says Metcalf. Josh, now I see you like think, going through turmoil as Nate's speaking over there. Like, I, 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 I'm having trouble in my own head over here. I, I like the points you were made. I, the one thing was if Amari Cooper's not playing, DK Metcalf with Tyler Lockett and some of the other weapons there, I think it's probably more or less equal in my mind. But I'm, I'm expecting Amari Cooper to play right now. Um, mm-hmm. The answer is DK Metcalf. I'm drafting him ahead of CD Lamb in both Dynasty and Redraft. Even though in Dynasty it's super close, mm-hmm. I, I'm a big CD Lamb fan. But um, it, it's DK Metcalf in that Seahawks offense, that big playability. Got to go DK here. I think two votes for DK. John Luke, CD Lamb, or DK Metcalf. Yeah, I think uh, you know I said it, I already sort of gave a rundown on DK Metcalf. I think he has a the opportunity to to take a leap, and I don't see that necessarily happening for CD. I see like a, a season similar to last season, uh, maybe a, a slight improvement, but I, I think it's DK Metcalf here. Three votes for DK Metcalf. Dan, where are you going? Yeah, it's DK Metcalf. It's it's not particularly close. I think that I don't see the the upside in CD that, that you do. And I know I'm going to be labeled a hater because he's a Cowboy and I'm an Eagles fan, but but realistically, he's, he's, a, great, he's a great receiver. I just don't think he can break that, that top, 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 receiver tier four votes for dk metcalf and man do i love cd lamb so much um and what you guys are talking about jail I, I disagree a little bit that you could see just a slight upgrade in cd lamb if dak plays the whole season i see that as a major improvement on this season for cd lamb instead of just a minor one like from a fantasy output perspective he gets 17 games of dak i, I think that's a major improvement and i I know there's more competition for targets, but I also think there's way more targets to go around in that Cowboys offense than there is in the Seahawks offense, especially with what they've said about wanting to focus on the run a bit more. Um, that being said, that makes it close. In Dynasty, <laughs> I would actually take CD Lamb over DK Metcalf in a Dynasty league, uh, but they are close. And in redraft this year, it's DK Metcalf ahead of CD Lamb, not particularly close. Uh, so for fantasy as a whole, it is DK Metcalf. But okay. I, I think there's a little too much shade being thrown CD's way in that in that matchup. I don't want uh, to get throw a little him bit shade. more. Respect. I love him as much as the net. As much, I think I probably <laughs> love him as much as you, but I, I can't do it, and I, you couldn't do it either. So, and Burner <sighs> called it. He said it's going to come down to AJ versus DK, <laughs> isn't it? And it yep. did. It um, did. And so we are on to that is. matchup, Josh. You've got the first vote, and Nate, uh, that means no, you're going to have first the deciding one. vote in this one if it comes down to a tie. Josh, where are you going here? So in Dynasty, I'm drafting AJ Brown ahead of DK Metcalf, and it, this might sound weird. I don't. I don't think Julio Jones really affects him all that much. But in redraft, I'm still drafting DK Metcalf ahead of AJ Brown. I know it sounds weird, but that's how I'm doing it. Um, I, I, 
I'm so close. This this is the best matchup yet in my mind. Uh, I'm gonna go with AJ Brown. I, I I like him as a wide receiver better. Um, I, I I whenever I'm watching him, I just think he's so well. Just get the guy the ball in his hands. And he's so big, you know. He's so he's so stocky and he's so fast. He can do everything well. I love AJ Brown. Let's give him the vote. One vote for AJ Brown from Josh. <laughs> John Luke, where are you going here? So I mentioned with DK Metcalf, he's third most uh, in routes run, second most in air yards, but he's 17th in receptions, which means if they can increase that reception uh, number, then he's he's going to he's going to just ball out this season. AJ Brown, I still think is is a little bit capped. Uh, you know, Julio's there, and uh, I, I see his his target share probably increasing a little bit with uh, John New being gone. But I, I I'm going DK Metcalf here. <clears throat> One vote okay. for DK Metcalf. Damn, be a close one. Where are you going? Yeah, it's, it's AJ Brown. I don't, I don't think that Julio is going to cap him whatsoever. I think he, the, the, his targets may go down a little bit, but the quality of his targets are, are going to go up if anything. So yeah. I, I think that it, it, it's clearly AJ Brown, and it isn't really particularly close for me. Wow, two to one, AJ Brown leading. Jay Wall said AJB. Burner said AJB. Off the Schneid said DK, DK, DK. And um, you know what I'm going to do here because I, I can and just because I think fun, this is really close <laughs> for me. And I'm just going to vote for DK Metcalf and make Nate decide uh, who's the winner of this bracket. <laughs> it is two to two. Nate, take it away. Who wins the fantasy wide receiver under 25 bracket? So based on what I said earlier with the Julio Jones thing and how I think Jones actually will elevate A.J. Brown, I've got to go A.J. Brown here. I think, he's, I think he's the better 2021 receiver out of the two. Let's Boom. Go. Nate decided it. It is AJ Brown wins the fantasy wide receiver under 25 bracket. It's been decided by science. You can't even argue it. Sorry to all these other names on there. Um, It's just indisputable. Anthony said DK too bad Too see. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to unfollow. (laughs) No, you already earned the follow. You can't lose it once you earn it. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Is that how it works? Yeah. 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 I like your version of Twitter better. <laughs> That's how I play it. Yeah, Josh's version of Twitter is much friendlier. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It's like an entirely different site. Josh Twitter, um, and you don't have to spell anything right over there, and no one ever calls you out. Is this you can like just spell things Face- however you want? Is it like Taco's Facebook? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. We I love it. I'm in. Okay, guys. Oh, our next bracket is. is- is an activities with NFL players bracket. This is similar. We did something kind of similar once. We did vacations with NFL players. Now we are doing activities with NFL players. Uh, This is entirely subjective. It's a combination of the activity plus the player, which one you would rather do. Um, Who had the first vote on the last one? Josh did. So John Luke, you are going to kick this one off for us with our one versus 16 seed matchup. Would you rather drive go karts with AJ Brown or play duck hunt with Carson Wentz? I feel like Wentz is a sore loser, and so <laughs> I'm gonna go. go I'm gonna go go karts with AJ Brown. One vote for go karts with AJ Brown. Dan, what about you, the Eagles fan? Are you got a soft spot for Wentz in there? I do. However, if if I went uh, playing duck hunt with Wentz, he'd probably miss the duck and end up hitting me. So AJ <laughs> Brown. <laughs> Virtual shots fired. <laughs> That's another <laughs> vote for go cards with AJ Brown. Um, yeah, I I have no interest in hanging out with Carson Wentz. I just like never once have I looked at him and thought like, man, I'd like to have a beer with that guy. Um, I maybe that's rude on my part, but go karts are better. AJ Brown is better. It's, no it's three votes for AJ Brown at this point. Nate, where are you going here? Go cards with AJ Brown or duck hunt with Wentz? Well, it's funny when I saw this list, I kind of laughed out loud when I saw it play Duck Hut with Carson Wentz. So I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> Go Karts with AJ Brown. <laughs> Four votes for Go Karts with AJ Brown. And Jay wants to know can AJ Brown complete the bracket oh, sweep? We will have to see. And Anthony said Wentz throws ducks, he doesn't hunt them. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, are you finishing this sweep? Yeah, I am because I'd rather hang out with AJ Brown over Carson Wentz and I'd rather go go karting over playing duck cut. So it's an easy one for me. Okay, AJ Brown sweeps that round. Dan, you've got this oh, first no. one. We've got a heavy hitter. You can go to Disney with Tom Brady or you can play laser tag with Tyreek Hill. Which oh. one of these are you doing? I feel like 
laser tag with Tiger Hill will be a lot more fun. I know Disney is like, you know, incredible and everything, but I don't know. I just feel like I had more fun with, with Tyree than with, with Brady personally. So laser tag for me. One vote for Tyree kill. You know, Dan, I agree with that, that I think I might have more fun playing laser tag, but um, I don't know if I want to hang out with a dude with uh who has beat up a woman before and gotten in trouble for that. Like, that's not my kind of idea of a fun afternoon. Allegedly. Um, allegedly. Know, I'm going to go. I don't, with, I don't uh, know. I just, <laughs> I'm going to go with allegedly Disney with Brady said. just to avoid, uh, avoid that conflict with Tyreek Hill. Um, Nate, where are you going here? Disney with Brady or laser tech with Tyreek Hill? So um, I went to Disney when I was like 19 and it was awesome, except that I couldn't drink, but I also couldn't do the little kid stuff. So that part really sucked. Um, so I'm going Disney with Brady and that's also because of the reasons that you said, Simon, I just, yeah, I'd rather hang out with Tom Brady and Disney Completely. is awesome. Who I'm, gonna get, Tom I'm, gonna, Brady. I'm getting Tom Brady drunk at Disney though. It's going to be great. <laughs> that, yeah. What? <laughs> Anthony has a good point too. He says Tyreek would not be fun playing laser tech. He would be so small and fast and impossible to win against. He's and on Burner, team. To your point, Nate, he says if it's Tequila Tom, I'm picking Disney. Uh, he's going to go get drunk with Tom Brady at Tequila Disney Tom. World. JL, are you going Disney with Brady or laser tech or Tyreek Hill? I, think oh, Josh, I skipped you, Josh. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, laser tag is going to be a lot of fun with Tyreek Hill, especially if he's on your team. You're not going to want to try to team, laser tag him. But it's Disney with Tom Brady. That's a whole experience. It's Tom Brady, the goat, and it's Disney. That's going to be a whole. Th- that's going to be a good time. Disney. Another vote for Disney with Tom Brady. John Luke. I feel like Tom Brady's going to be like scared of the roller coasters, and if he's drunk, he's just going to be like. I feel like he does not have a strong constitution. He's going to be vomiting all over <laughs> you. Avocado, <laughs> strawberry juice. I don't know whatever it is that he drinks. Grass. <laughs> Uh, I'm going. I'm going laser tag, and I'm I'm on Tyrese Hill. I'm on on Tyrese Hill. Hill. Jesus Christ! All right. I'm on Tyrese's team. My goodness, we are on his hill together. Jail is on Tyrese's hill, but Brady moves down. It's the hill they're dying on together. Brady's moving on to go against AJ Brown in the next round. Up next, we've got golf with Aaron Rodgers or photography with Larry Fitzgerald. Um, and I've got the first vote here. Um, Eric said avocado strawberry juice really sounds disgusting. Oh, I forgot the grass. He sprinkles the grass in there, some weeds. Uh, uh, the grass is what makes it good. Um, the dandelions. Jay said Thirsty Thursdays is Troy still here. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, he must be. It's just radiating. This one is not <laughs> close for me at all. Um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't seem like particularly enjoyable to hang out with unless he like really likes you. And I've never met the guy, so he probably doesn't really like me. Um, and Larry Fitzgerald, I feel like would be so serene in nature. He'd be like, Oh, do you see that bird up there? Like, no, this is your shot. I'll let you grab it. Like, and he would guide you through the process. Quick, um, open the aperture. Yeah. Photography with Larry Fitzgerald sounds like a bucket list item for me. Nate, where are you going here? Golf with Aaron Rodgers or photography with Larry Fitz? Well, I love golf and I haven't played in like four years. So that's like tempting, but Larry <laughs> Fitzgerald is like, He's one of my like absolute favorite people who ever played in the NFL. So it's got to be photography with Fitz. Another vote for photography with Fitz, two to zero. Josh, where are you going here? Listen, I, I I'm kind of on the. I, I think Aaron Rodgers would like me a lot. You know, uh, I don't know. I'm a cool guy, and we could yeah. hang out. We could golf a little bit. He's going to be better than me, so no worries there. Um, I'm going golf with Aaron Rodgers. That's you both cry babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cry all the time. Um, tears <laughs> running to my face. <laughs> And yeah, well, we'll Josh right in. Josh has got the polos for it. You got plenty of polos to wear. Exactly. To play golf there I'm around. ready to go. Let's, let's, let's hit the let's hit the the range. You know, Jay wants to know the golf in Hawaii. I think um I think they just randomize every golf course in the United States, and you might get like a municipal course from a small town, and you might get Pebble Beach. It's just going to be luck of the draw. Um, and then Bernie said, I feel like Rogers would get butt hurt and not want to finish. And Fitz is an amazing person, so Fitz. For him, JL, are you going golf with Aaron Rodgers or photography with Larry Fitzgerald? Yes, I mean, now this, this picture you've painted for me has got me thinking. Larry's just going to come <laughs> up and be like, turn off the autofocus. Here, we'll do it manually. He'll guide my hands, come up behind me, show me how to take a picture. It'll just, it'll be so romantic. It'll, I'm so excited for it. I hope this is real life. I'm going Fitz. 
photography with Larry Fitzgerald, and that means that's going to move on. But Dan, you still have a vote. Are you golfing with Aaron Rodgers and Josh, or are you going to photography less? And with Larry Fitzgerald with the rest oh, of us. Oh, it's with me now, Dan. So it's with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm picking Fitz. Oh. And Jay, just to pile me. on, Jay said Larry Fitzgerald would wrap his arms around you, make you feel safe, and help you take the picture, but give you all the credit. He would. Um, and Bernice and Josh are going to be so bummed when he realizes they don't allow sleeveless <laughs> polos of the kinds of Wait, uh, courses what? Rogers <laughs> They don't? Just start stripping on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, never mind. I didn't know that was the case. All right. We got to change. We got to change. I changed my vote. <laughs> Up next, we have Ooh. poker with Sammy Watkins or fishing with Julio oh. Jones. Nate, you've got the first vote here. Which one of these are you doing? Well, since Sammy Watkins would really be good for the first hand and the last hand. You're um, winning. <laughs> no, dude, I'm so bad at poker. So bad. <laughs> and I love fishing, actually. I love fishing a lot. So I'm going fishing with Julio Jones. Fishing with Julio Jones for Nate. Josh, what about you? I would rather I hang out with poker. Julio Jones over Sammy Watkins, but I love poker. I'd rather play poker over fishing. And I don't hate fishing or anything, but poker is one of my hobbies for sure. Um I would rather play poker with Sammy Watkins. I think that would be a really good time. One vote for poker with Sammy Watkins. John Luke? Yeah, give me poker with Sammy Watkins. I love Sammy yeah. Watkins, my guy. Uh, I'm not particularly good at poker, but I've done enough fishing for a lifetime uh, as, as a child. <laughs> so uh, sitting on, if anything, if I had to go fishing with Julio, I'd just be sitting on the boat drinking some beer. But I'm going to go with with Sammy that. Watkins. Yeah. Dan, are you going poker with Sammy Watkins or fishing with Julio Jones? Poker is one of my favorite activities, so this isn't really that close. It's, it's poker. Hey, let's go. Three votes for poker with Sammy Watkins. One vote for fishing with Julio Jones. Um, and I, whenever Jay was making this bracket, he asked for input, and I said they should uh, – the Sammy Watkins one, there was something that happened while we were at Clemson where they sent out an email to the entire student body on accident, and the subject line was free beer with Sammy Watkins – um, that they sent to the whole student body. So I said that should have been in the bracket. Um, I love Sammy. He's my Clemson guy. I'm worse at fishing than I am at poker. Um, and I'm assuming there's going to be some free beer there. So it is poker with Sammy Watkins for me. I'm sorry, Nate. And I'm sorry, Julio, but it's you've okay. Been eliminated. <laughs> Nate forgives us. Up next, that was such a good email. <laughs> it was such a good email. We've got a helicopter ride with Russell Wilson or Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic. Josh, what? you've got the first vote here. Oh, man. I don't want to be first. Uh, so I, I've been on a helicopter before. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, hanging out with Russell Wilson would be cool. But Dave and Busters with Ryan Fitzpatrick would be such a good time. That's a, that is a that is an experience to me. I'm going Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic. Let's fuck Let's freaking go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, go to Dave and Brusters. Dave and uh, Brusters. Jay agrees with you, Nate. He said, you guys are crazy. Give me fishing with Julio. Maybe you just got a non-fishing crowd on the stream today. John but Luke. Poker oh. Poker means drinking. Sammy Bleams is the lizard Illuminati. You know, that, that's going to be some interesting great conversation. Great conversation. Yeah, great yeah. conversation. Absolutely. Fantastic. <laughs> just, get him, just get him talking and it'll be worth it. Um, John Luke, helicopter with Russell Wilson or Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic. So is this a real helicopter or is it a Gronk copter? Because that might change my answer here. Oh, no. Is I don't think you get two NFL it, players in one. It's, it's a real okay. helicopter. That would, that would okay. just tilt the table if you got two real pl- NFL players. All right, I'm going to go Dave and Buster's. I feel like Russell Wilson's too serious. It would just be a very it's serious helicopter. It <laughs> Dan, Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic or Helicopter with Russell Wilson. Jay says, ew, JL. How dare you? Dan, where are you going here? Uh, I'm, I'm going with, with, with Fitz. I mean, we can, you know, do those like basketball games, you know, try to like outshoot them. It'd be fun. Get some beers. Dave and Buster's. Mike making a weird sound? I just muted myself. Yeah. So uh, I muted Josh and it went away. I, I don't think, yeah, yeah. I don't. Okay, it's I, gone. I we resolved it, it. Sorry, Dan, I got distracted by the click, click, click. Uh, w- which one did you pick, go with? Pick, pick. Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster with Fitz Magic. That's going to move on, so it doesn't matter what I say. But, um, you know, I, I've i only been in a helicopter once when I was, like, five. Uh, like, so I hardly remember. I think that'd be a cool experience. And of the players I would rather meet, it would be Russell Wilson. Um, so it's going to be Russell Wilson in a helicopter for me. Um 
that's that's all there is to it though. Helicopter and Russell Wilson, hard to beat that combo. Nate, are you going Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic or a helicopter with Russell Wilson? Dude, Russell Wilson seems like he's so boring. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's gonna be like all about the safety. Buckle up. Hey, make sure you're I mean he he might wrap around me and strap me in, but maybe I, oh, no. don't get too far outside of the copter. Right. <laughs> Dave, dude, it's Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic, man. There we go. Man, Russell Wilson just getting obliterated by Fitz Magic. And uh, JC DFF called us at Fitz owns Wilson on this show, so I can see where this is going. It's true. It's true. It's yeah, true. It's rage true. still in Josh's eyes. <laughs> Up next, we've got Ping Pong with Josh Allen versus Fortnite with Juju. Um, who has – John Luke, I think you have the first yeah. vote on this one. Uh, I've never played Fortnite, um, but I would much rather play ping pong. That sounds way fun. Oh, but I don't like Josh Allen. Wasn't this someone else before when Jay sent it? Uh, I don't, I don't know. really like Josh Allen. I guess I'll take Fortnite with Juju. Ugh. You know what? No, I'm going to go ping pong with Allen so I could just own him. <laughs> Jail spitefully taking ping pong with Josh Allen. We've got real deal fantasy in here. Says, What's what up, Q? What's up? What's up? Q? Kev, what's up? And Anthony said Juju, and Jay said initially it was with Aaron Darnold or Aaron Donald. Yeah, um, that would have won right. for sure. Aaron Darnold. Aaron Kev Darnold. says ping pong, ding dong. Uh, Dan, where are you going here? Ping pong or Fortnite? Ping pong with Josh Allen, Fortnite with Juju. I, I have tr- uh, played Fortnite a couple times, and I with Juju? hate it. So it's ping pong. Ping pong with Josh Allen from Dan. Um, I think I could learn a lot from Juju playing Fortnite. Like I'm bad at both of these things. I feel like Juju would be all about like getting me up to speed. Like he'd be like the guy that you get paired with who's really supportive of the new guy on like in the earpiece. And I think Juju would be more fun to hang out with. And I would learn more about the activity we were doing. I'm going Fortnite with Juju. Nate, which way are you going on this one? Um, I don't play video games, so I'm going ping pong with Josh Allen because I also feel there's a chance that we go from ping pong to beer pong to maybe like flip cup later in the night, and that sounds like more fun. That That sounds like a good night. Nate, Nate's laying out the full night of activities. This is just the appetizer activity. Josh, (laughs) Josh, three to one. Ping pong with Josh Allen is moving on, but where are you voting? I, I've been a fan of both of these things in the past, ping pong and Fortnite. I've I've played way too much Fortnite a couple of years. I, I've like a thousand over a thousand wins in Fortnite. Um, but I don't play much anymore. I'd rather play ping pong at this point. Um, it's ping pong with Josh Allen. Nice humble brag. Jo- <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of it though. That's a thing. Ping pong with Josh Allen moves on. Dan, you've got the first vote on this one. You can go sock shopping with RG three, or you can play putt putt with George Kittle. I mean, I'm sure that RG3 is a fantastic guy to like hang out with, but this is clearly putt putt with George Kittle. One vote for putt putt with George Kittle. Dan, it's weird that I. Uh, Burner said, give me Josh Allen ping pong. Kev said, cranking 90s with Juju might be cool. Um, and Jordan said, Nate's here for a good time. Yeah, Nate's, Nate's playing out these scenarios to the full. Um, Man, I saw this one and immediately had the exact opposite reaction you did, Dan. I feel like that would be such a unique experience to go sock shopping with RG3, and I feel like he would foot the bill. Like I feel like we would go to like one of those really fun sock shops where it's all these fun socks, and we'd get up to the register, and RG3 would be like, nah, man, I got it. And then we would have like the dopest socks walking around together. I'm going he'd sock like, shopping He'd like pick RG3. some out for you be like, these are the exactly. good on you. Yeah, we would have, we would play a game like oh, we're going out to eat, but you have to wear whatever socks we pick out for each other. And we each get to like pick out the socks and we Put walk around the town. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. Um, I'm going sock shopping with RG3. Nate, are you going sock shopping with RG3 or putt putt with Wait, George Kittle? You both buy custom socks with each of your faces on it, so you give him a sock uh, with your faces on it. <laughs> I like, this like time. airbrush Let's keep building on this. Airbrush like they are at carnivals, like with our names yes. on it. Like, okay, uh, this this scenario is getting better and better. Nate, are you getting in on this sock journey? Or are you going to play putt putt with George Kittle? So I buy my socks from Costco because I don't wear them very often. <laughs> so that just kind of, I mean, I don't really want to go to Costco, go to Costco. with RG three. <laughs> yeah, I get dragged for not liking bacon. Well, this is That's different. Good. I'm going putt putt with Kittle, man. That's I love putt putt too. So. It is 2-1. Pup with Kittle. He doesn't want to go on a, a Costco trip with RG3. Josh, what about you? Sock shop with RG3 <laughs> yeah. or Pup with George Stamp Kittle? 
All the samples. All the yeah, samples. We were talking about golf earlier. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we are talking about golf earlier. If there's one thing I'm actually, like, okay at golf, it's putting. And it's because I putt-putted a lot when I was younger. Um, and, George, I mean, if RJ3 was a little bit more relevant nowadays, maybe I would choose this. Kittle is the man. I would love to hang out with Kittle. It's putt putt with Kittle. Let's go. Kittle is going to move on, and it looks like most of the chat agrees with you. Jordan says putt putt with Kittle. Burner says Kittle. Eric said layup. I'm assuming he means for Kittle. Anthony said mini golf with Kittle would be amazing. He'd pick that over Disney World with Brady. Oh. Um, and he seems well, to think RG3 would make me pay. Uh, <laughs> Josh, are you going – or JL, are you going sock shopping with RG3 with me, or are you going putt putting with George Kittle? Uh, I'm going to go sock shopping with you just for the – just. For some respect on RG3's name. But he doesn't get enough respect. Kittle beats him out, and we are on to our last matchup. And, and look, this one Kevin is, in the chat here, he can confirm. I can putt. I can putt. Josh, I can putt. We get it, Josh. Putt, You're so good. It. I'm not good, though. He I'm has not. over a 1,000 putts on Fortnite. <laughs> Eric calling, over a Eric calling Jay out. So Jail's trying to compare not liking baking to wearing Costco socks. For shame, Listen, JL. I'm looking for anything, all right? Any, any branch to hold on to. It's not happening, It's Jay. not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan said, playing house with Tom Brady and pretending to be a son. Wait, Simon, don't post this one, but hold your hand up if you read it. <laughs> Jordan's got something that he wants to do. Um, we are on to our next one. And Joe, um, you had the last vote on that one, which means I have the first vote on this one. I believe it is underwear shopping with Lamar or the opera with time. Justin Tucker. Um, you know what? Me and Lamar, we got something in common. Every once in a while, our bowels get the best of us. Um, it, it happens to the greatest of men, and Lamar and I are in the same boat. Uh, we probably could use some fresh undies without a little bit of skid marks in them. Uh, me and Lamar are going to talk about our digestive issues, buy some new underpants, um, and we're going to hang buy out together. each other, put them in a yep, little bag, we'll, and give it to each other we'll pick later them out. with your faces on it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Big old Lamar Jackson face right on the butt, um, and he can get my face right on his butt. You It'll just got cute. a thing for Ravens quarterbacks, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. Me and Ravens quarterbacks want to buy all of our underclothing together. Nate, are you going underwear shopping with Lamar or the opera with Justin Tucker? So I've never been to an opera. I don't understand opera. I don't know why people like opera. And I think <laughs> Justin Tucker's kind of a prick, so I'm going undie shopping with Lamar. <laughs> Two votes for Lamar. He doesn't want anything to do with the opera or with Justin Tucker. Josh? <sighs> So uh, comparing undie shopping to shopping for socks, I, I would much rather go underwear shopping. You know, I, I, I think having some cool boxers would be pretty badass. And we're comparing Ooh, Lamar to Justin Tucker. I'm a, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about. Uh, I'm a Ravens fan. I, I would like to hang out with both these guys, but it's Lamar here. So undie shopping with Lamar. Let's go. Three votes. It's going to move on. Jordan said matching thong. Simon, we'll see where it takes us. Not to start, but maybe like at the third yeah. store if we're feeling a little third gotten store. close. And Kev said, dude, I feel that way. Stay re-wiping. It's all about the re-wipe <laughs> life. Um, JL, are you going undie shopping with Lamar? Or are you going to the opera with Justin Tucker? I would much rather hang out with Lamar. So I'm going undie shopping. It's 4-0. And Dan, where are you going? I'm going with Justin Tucker. Ah. Justin Tucker with Dan loves the oh. opera and kickers. Um, guys, we are in our quarterfinals yeah, and we got to power through. Bit, yeah, yeah, we got to we got to power through some of these. Nate, you've got the first vote. Is it go karts with AJ Brown or Disney with Brady? Go karts, baby. Go karts, Josh. It's Disney with Brady for me, actually. Yeah, and I'm a big AJ Brown fan. John Luke it is Disney. Not Disney with Brady. Sorry, yeah, we are on Ty we are on Tyreek's Hill, and we're go karting with AJ Brown. <laughs> go karts with AJ Brown uh, gets another vote. Dan, yeah, it's it's go karts with AJ Brown. Go karts with AJ Brown. I agree. It's go karts with AJ Brown for me. Sorry, Brady. That's where you go down. Up next, we've got photography with Larry Fitzgerald versus poker with Sammy Watkins. Josh. It's poker with Sammy Watkins. I love poker. Easy. You barely know her. Um, ah. JL, are you going poker with Sammy Watkins or photography with Larry Fitzgerald? I love Sammy, but it's photography with, with Fitz here. One vote for each. Dan, the man, where are you going? I feel like Fitz would all these like hidden spots to have, they take like the greatest pictures ever, so it's Fitz. Um, yeah, it's, it's fits for me as well. I love Sammy Watkins probably more than I should, uh, but it's photography with Larry Fitzgerald. 
Nate, it's been decided, but where's your vote going? Photos. Let's go take some photos. Suck it, Josh. Photography is where your favorite moves. Pictures? Uh. That sounds so <laughs> boring. <laughs> JL, you've got the first vote here. Or no, Josh has the first vote here, I believe. No, JL does. It's no, David Buster's with yeah. David Buster's with Fitch Magic or Ping Pong with Josh Allen. I already owned Josh Allen and Ping Pong last round, so I'm gonna go David Buster's <laughs> with Fitz Magic. You don't need to beat him twice. Um, Dan, David Buster's with Fitz Magic or Ping Pong with Allen. There's just more to do with David Buster's with Fitz, so David Buster's. Dave and Buster's. I'm also going to go Dave and Buster's. I feel like Fitz would give me all his tickets and I'd leave it like a cool, like Bart Simpson plushie or something. Uh, he'd be giggling going, the whole time. He oh, he would be so giggling. giggling. <laughs> Nate, wh where are you going on this one? Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's. It is four to nothing. Josh, are you finishing the sweep? Or are you playing ping pong with Josh Allen? Uh, this one's close, but it's Dave and Buster's. I've like I love Dave and Buster's. I've won it like a thousand times. Yeah, you know? so let's go. <laughs> like a thousand times. A thousand times he's oh, won yeah. Dave and Buster's. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dan, you've got the first vote here. Putt putt with Kittle or undie shopping with Lamar? I feel like putt putt is more enjoyable than undie shopping with anyone, really. So it, it, it's putt putt. Putt putt for Dan, and you know what? I disagree with that. I like underwear shopping, and I'd rather hang out with Lamar. Of I think. You did. Um, this is undie shopping with Lamar for me for all the reasons previously stated. I laid out the whole scenario. We don't have to do it again. Nate, are you going undie shopping with Lamar or playing putt putt with Kittle? Well, last round it was, I just didn't like Justin Tucker. I also buy my underwear at Costco, so I'm going putt putt. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a combined trip with RG3 and Lamar where you guys go get socks, underwear, and samples. Ooh, I like yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Just because Simon said that, I'm even going to enjoy a time at Costco with Lamar. Um, I, yeah, Jordan said in the chat, I'm a homer. I don't care. Lamar Jackson. I want to hang out with Lamar Jackson. Let's go. <laughs> Undie shopping with Lamar. It is two to two. JL, you have the deciding vote. Which of these is moving on to the semifinals? You know what it is, Simon. I don't actually. I think I get those, I get those undies ready. Grab your wallet. We're going shopping. Get those undies, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going undie shopping with Lamar. So we got the one, the final four is the one seed, the 12 seed, the 14 seed, and the 15 seed. And we have our first semifinal matchup. This one I feel like is going to divide some people. It is go karts with AJ Brown versus photography with Larry Fitzgerald. I've got the first vote here. Ooh, it's photography with Fitz for me. Go karts are more fun, but I feel like Fitz would just make that process fun. Know what I mean? Like it would be such a once in a lifetime experience. Nate, where are you going here? Go karts with AJ Brown or photography with Fitz? Go karts. Go karts with AJ going Brown. Go karts. Nate. Josh, take out the people. I mean, it's AJ Brown, but take out the people. Go karts are so much fun. It's go karts. Let's go. Two to one. JL. Josh, you've never been on a scenic bird watching tour, it seems. I'm going <laughs> photography with Larry Fitz. <laughs> okay, Shut it's up. two to two, and it comes down to Dan. <laughs> Dan, you've got the deciding vote. What is moving on? This is this is go karts with with AJ Brown. So no! let's go, Dan. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No surprise, Dan has found a way to ruin yet another game. <laughs> hey, you Jay know, Dan a, agreed with you a couple you times last time. Underwear night. shopping over mini golf. Yeah. Well, Jay said if on. Undie Shopping wins, I quit. And Jordan said, guys, you know what to do. Um, <laughs> we've got our next matchup. It is Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic versus Undie Shopping with Lamar. And Nate, you've got the first vote. For previous reasons stated, I'm sticking with Dave and Busters. Plus, One I feel vote. like Fitz Magic might carry me on his shoulders after I win the big bear. Oh, you're so right. You, you're holding the bear on your shoulders. You're on Fitz Magic's shoulders. He's shooting, shooting basketball and you're just on <laughs> Fitz Magic's shoulders. Damn straight. I'm imagining, I'm imagining you with like food all over your face too. Like you've got just like <laughs> sauce all over your face, like holding a soda. Honey mustard. Um, <laughs> yeah, honey mustard all over your face. Uh, maybe a corn dog. Josh, are you going Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic? Or underwear shopping with Lamar. Um, I, I want to hang out with Lamar. But I know. That's what I – Dan, I'm about to say it. Listen up. It's Dave and Buster's. I would have a better time at Dave and Buster's regardless of what it is compared to, you know, underwear shopping. And Fitzmagic seems like a good guy to hang out with. So let's go. It's two to zero. Uh, Dave and Buster's with Fitzmagic is leading. Jen said Fitz, no contest. 
JL, are you no agreeing with them so far? Or are you going undie shopping with Lamar? <laughs> Listen, Lamar and I have bought a lot of undies in these last two rounds. Uh, yeah. I, I can't can't vote against Satan Busters. It's, it's magic. I, we'd be belly laughing the whole time. I, I didn't realize how much I want this to be my reality until this stream. And now I will stop at nothing until it happens. Dave and Busters? Yes. <laughs> Dave and Busters. That, yes. Just, <laughs> Jordy said, oh, hey, Jen. He said, Nate wants better underwear for Christmas. And then Jen said, he's a liar. So he wishes good. he didn't have to wear underwear That's at all. That's so perfect. That's true. <laughs> No it underwear, falls right no in line with what you were saying, honestly, Nate. You're just saying, I don't really care about underwear and socks. <laughs> nope. Dan, where are you going? Are you going to Dave & Buster's with Fitzmagic or Undy Shopping with Lamar? Undy Shopping should not have made it this far at all. It's, it's Dave & Buster's. Lamar brought yeah. it here. Some haters. Yeah. You know what? I don't care. Really it, it shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I like underwear shopping. There's so many fun underwear. I'm throwing a vote there. What a unique experience. But it doesn't matter. Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic moves on, and we've got our final matchup. Josh, you have the first vote. It is oh, go karts no. with AJ Brown versus Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic. When it comes down to it, go karts and Dave and Busters are about even. AJ Brown is a guy I'd like to tell people I hung out with more. <laughs> I'll go with go karts. Let's go. Go karts with AJ Brown. One vote. John Luke. Simon, why do I feel like you're the type of guy that I ask every single time you go underwear shopping if you can try it on? <laughs> are you that guy you son to, you have to ask <laughs> you just do it of course and you just try it on um i'm going to yeah. the busters with this magic game go cards with aj brown does sound fun but it's just one game you have over a thousand no, games that's no, not just one there's different tracks there's there yeah, you can do it multiple times i've it's never been to a go-kart track that didn't uh act like a bunch you know didn't wasn't run by a bunch of you know, punks who are just would limit you if you were going too fast. So I'm going Dame Busters. Fair you enough. think AJ Brown can't rent out the whole track, get some leeway on how you guys go with the go-karts without a doubt. <laughs> Dan, are you going yeah. go-karts with AJ Brown or Dave and Busters with Fitz Magic? So, so there's a Mario Kart inspired go-kart track at Niagara Falls. And I would go there with AJ Brown. So you you mean Mario, Mario, right? Mario. Not that? joking. I'm messing. I know you say Mario, Mario. I know Mario, it's pronounced Mario. wrong. Oh, I'm not sorry. I want to be a, a jerk. Right? The Mario, Mario brothers. I've Mario heard brothers. that many people say that. Yeah. Dan goes go cards with AJ Brown and Nate. I feel like you know what I'm going to do here. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. This is, this is very close in my mind. Classic. Both of these would be very fun. Um, you painted the picture for Fitz Magic for me that I think is pushing it a little that direction. Made it close. I'm voting for Fitz Magic and I'm punting. And making you decide out of these two options which activity with an NFL player is the winner of this bracket, Nate. I think you guys know what I'm going to say here. I'm going with the dude who wears a gold jacket and gold glasses and has a beard oh, down here. AJ Brown. Dave and Buster's all day. Baby. <laughs> Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic. AJ Brown almost had the first double victory oh, in Fred wow. Fantasy Brackets history. But he got beat by one vote by Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic in the finale. And that's our bracket. Dave and Buster's with Fitz Magic wins out of all of those options. I honestly wouldn't have picked that one from the beginning, but you know what? It makes sense. I, I think that'll make sense. Nate, thank you so much for coming on and playing brackets with us today. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you do not follow Nate, go follow him on Twitter at Janate Jack FF. And Nate, do you want to tell uh, the people where else they can find your work, what else you are doing right now? So you can find me with in between media as always at IBT underscore media and then in dash between media.com on the web um, or, at check out our, or at Costco. You can find me at Costco. Um, <laughs> you can find me. At, <laughs> damn it. <jail. laughs> you can find me at Costco.com. <laughs> I love that you lean into it. Oh, well, you have to, right? I really especially like their pizza. So you might find me in the pizza Ooh, court. The pizza hard. is amazing. We had it for lunch earlier this week. It's incredible. For some reason, I'm imagining you with, with Costco socks on your hands eating a pizza. There's just like pizza sauce all over the Costco <laughs> socks. Dan's like, come on, Nate. We've been I here for three have... hours. <laughs> right? No. Eat your pizza faster. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, Costco.com. <laughs> <laughs> at 32 and 32 FF on Twitter, um, at FF Thieves on Twitter. Shout out Thieves. I'm not going to try and list all of them hey. now, but hey. Um, yeah. That's that's everywhere. Yeah. And follow, follow my wife at Jen Palvo because she's yes. way cooler than me. Great following. And, and trading really makes cool. fantasy fun. 
trading does, does make fantasy does. fun. Yeah. <laughs> David does Buster's a spy little fantasy sign fun. in the background uh, back there, Josh. And trading a David Buster is can fun. Be fun too. Trade yeah. some tickets, trade some prizes. Uh, Tyreek Hill magic. makes fantasy fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I think that's it for us today. We will be back mm. tomorrow uh, playing some tears with Justin from 14 Personnel. I was trying to remember who's coming on tomorrow. Uh, we're excited <laughs> to have him on to play some tears with us. And Jensen, I'm dying laughing right now. Nate, we actually need to go to Costco. We you, gotta, you guys got to go to Costco. Pick up some new socks. Yeah. Live, yeah. live, tweet, live tweet the trip. I will. Yes, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for us today. We are out of here. Thank, Thank you all you. for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.